Hey guys! I decided to do a nice little rendition of what's in my bag. Makeup bag style. Cute little makeup bag. It was just something I got over Christmas anyways. So let's start with concealers because that's what we all start with. Okay, so I have the Rimmel Hide the Blemish Concealer. Looks like a nice little lipstick tube here. It's pretty awesome. And then I have the L'Oreal Visible Lift CC Cream. You kind of see what it looks like. And then I have the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser, or Dark Spot Eraser, rather. Dark Spot Eraser. And then the new Revlon Age Defying Targeted Dark Spot Concealer Treatment. Uh, you can't really see it in this light, but it's kind of a really pale color too, which is the color that it is, because I'm super pale. Anyway, so those are my concealers. Oh, and there's this one too. The Neutrogena Skin Clearing Blemish Concealer. As you can see, I'm almost out of it because it's all the way up to here. Anyway, so those are the concealers I have. Um, so now, let's move on. Now, don't get me wrong, I don't use them all at the same time. Um, a lot of them, like on a daily basis, I will use the dark circle corrector under my eyes and then I will use I just recently started using the Revlon age defying like on this junk I have going on over here um, the Neutrogena skin clearing one I've been using for a long time but since we have new products I decided to try something new so and I will be giving individual reviews for each of those products in later videos right now we're just kinda going over what I have <laughs> Alright, so mascaras. I'm a mascara junkie. I have the Rimmel Lash Accelerator Endless Lash. Great stuff. I've got the well used Revlon Lash Potion Grow Luscious Mascara. See that? And then I've got the new L'Oreal Butterfly Lash Out Butterfly. You kind of see how it looks. And all may get up and grow. Ta da! And then the new Rimmel Scandalize Retro Glam Mascara. I love this stuff. Again, there will be a video later for that. I have also new, <laughs> I said I'm a junkie, the CoverGirl Bombshell Two Step Mascara again review forthcoming so those are all the mascaras I have um let's move on to lip because I have a lot of different lip colors first ones I have are the L'Oreal Endless um, I think I only have two of them in here right now I've got a coral and a pinky color I've got I just got this over Christmas it was in our stocking stuffer thing that we have at work the elf super shiny lip gloss super glossy I have a Maybelline, just the regular Color Sensational lipstick. It's in Red Revival. And let me just tell you, I know I'm doing reviews later, but that Red Revival, that particular color, is an extremely wearable red. And I absolutely love it. Who says red hair? People can't wear red lipstick. Psh. Anyways, um, I have, God, I think these are the same, no, they're not the same color. Two of the new Maybelline Elixir, those lip glosses, pretty fab. Also have a Revlon Color Burst Lacquer Balm. It's the new version of the Balm Stains. It's the super shiny one. So there's that. And I have my handy dandy Blistex Lip Radiance. Alright, so that does it for the eyes. For let's go with foundation sounds good right so foundation I have made oh yeah cover girls at last stay fabulous three in one in color 810 which is super freaking pale <laughs> and then I have another Maybelline or oh my god sorry another I usually use Maybelline makeup so this whole cover girl thing is new to me I have the cover girl clean whipped cream foundation in 310 okay and then I have my Neutrogena this is not really foundation 
So I have my Neutrogena Shine Control Powder. It's just like, it looks really white, but it's really just clear. And then my new favorite, which again, review forthcoming, is the Maybelline Dream Wonder Foundation. Awesome stuff. So, oh yeah, and then there's this new one that I just recently started using, and I love it because it makes your skin look flawless. Makes your skin look flawless like all day. Like I kept, I wore it today, and I kept getting so many compliments. Oh my God, your skin! It's really not that great looking. It's just the makeup. <laughs> it's the Rim new Rimmel Stay Matte, the new liquidy kind of foundation. I love this stuff so much. We got a free sample of it, and I'm definitely buying a tube when I'm done. Of course, by then there'll probably be something else, and I'll have to use it because I always have to use the newest thing. <laughs> um. Anyway, then I have my fo my for blushes. So let's go go on the blushes. I have the Photo Ready creams. I have it in Coral Reef and Pinched. This one's a very bright, obviously coral color, and this is more of a kind of nude. These are pretty awesome. And then I have, which I've been using most lately, well not most, but one of the ones I've been using more than normal is the Maybelline New York. It's new. It's the Master Highlight. It's got, um, as you can see, all the different little colors in it, and it's got the, the highlight, and you see it's a little bit shimmery, and the different colors, they go really nicely on. This is my favorite blush, and this is the one that I use the most, although I'm trying to use different ones just to try them out and see what I like. The CoverGirl. It is Clean Glow Blusher, and this one is in roses, and I love it because it's got your highlight shade, your blush shade, and your bronzer shade, like, all in one. Or, not bronzer, really, but the contouring shade. You got it all in the same compact, and it's awesome. So, next we'll do eyeshadow, because I'm also an eyeshadow junkie. <laughs> I have a few of these cute little All May, where are, there we go little all my colors they are called softies I think yeah I've got like a pink one a greenish gold one to match my eyes and then like a, a pale green so these things are cute I love the little packaging too they look like little teardrops <laughs> um, I have the Rimmel I have a Rimmel palette Ta -da! It, it, this particular one is Mayfair I like because it's got all the all the neutral colors here you can't really see it but then it's also got this little bit of pink shimmer to just kind of add a pop of color, which I really like. Um, this one is the Maybelline, uh, what's it called? Expert Wear. It's got the four shades. And this particular one is Natural Smokes. And it is my favorite because it's got like all the natural colors, just a little bit smoky. And yeah, I really like this one. One I've recently been wearing, and I'm actually, can't really tell probably, but I'm wearing it today, is the Designer Chocolates, which again is kind of a nude palette, but then you've got this little pop of pink right here. It's like a fuchsia purpley pink. It's really, really cute. I like it a lot. And then next up on my eyeshadows is these little Revlon guys, and they are just so cute. You actually buy them individually, pick whatever colors you want and you just kind of slide them together. Like, here is a couple of individual ones, and then look, just kind of, if I can get to do it right, just slide it on there. Insta palette. It's pretty awesome. And I love these. And they're, they actually, they have, they come in satins, pearls, and mattes. And they actually tell you, like, on the back, if you can read it, you can't. But they actually tell you, like, the name of the color, and then if it's a satin, a matte, or a pearl. And then, for continuing eyes, I have my liquid liners that I use. The L'Oreal Infallible Super Slim. It's like a felt tippy kind of thing. Felt tip liquid liner. And then this is the CoverGirl Bombshell Liquid Liner. And then I have Maybelline New York Unstoppable Eyeliner. And my Maybelline eyebrow pencil in, I don't even know, dark blonde. So, and then I have this as a primer 
I, I don't use it anymore. Um, I will do a video on it. It's a pretty decent product. It's just, it's not really for me. Is the CoverGirl True Magic. It's like a, um, a primer. It's kind of a clear thing. Yeah, you can kind of see it's sort of translucent. And you have this little puff. You know, you just dab it on you can use it. It says you can use it under makeup as a primer. You can use it just as your makeup because it just kind of smooths out your pores and makes your skin look really good. Or you can use it over your makeup. Um, like I said, it is a good product. I will explain in my video why I don't particularly care for it though. And of course, handy dandy little eyelash curler. I use this sometimes. With a lot of the mascaras I've been using, I really don't need it much. So I don't even know what this might be. Revlon? Or it might just be like a generic brand. I don't go all out with eyelash colors because I really don't use them that much. And then I've got my Eco Tools Kabuki. Whoosh. It is retractable, which is super awesome. I love it. And last but not least, my massive bag of Eco Tool, Eco Tool and Soho brushes. Yeah, large variety of all sorts of brushes. But when I when I do tutorials, I will go through individually which brush I use. So. I just don't, I mean, look at all these brushes. There's a lot of brushes. I just don't feel like going through them all. So, yeah. That is what's in my makeup bag. Um, as I said, later, future videos, I will be doing reviews on some of these products, especially some of the more, the particularly newer ones. So, yeah. Um, so that is what is in my bag. And if you have any questions, you know, you can just, leave a little comment down here or send me a message or something and I will answer your questions to the best of my ability. So thank you for watching and hope to see you soon.